Hey guys, this is Marcus from Nerd Mass Tech 315, and today we are looking at a sub $100 PC we picked up from Craigslist. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so we did grab a couple parts to give you a little bit of a, a look at what we're going to put in there. Um, we have a 64 gigabyte SSD, not the fastest, but the SanDisk X110 we'll use as our operating system. We're going to go ahead and upgrade that GT610 to a GT740 for the win by EVGA. And it's also a 1 gig card. Uh, we do have three RGB blue fans. We're going to go ahead and throw those in. Uh, this front fan is actually not working. And we're going to go ahead and throw in a 400 watt power supply unit. Uh, this is 80 plus white. Again by EVGA. And we're going to go ahead and add two 8 gigabyte RAM sticks running at 1600 megahertz of DDR3 RAM. So those are the upgrades. The specs in there right now are the AMD FX 4300 processor, 4 gigs of RAM, uh, the GT610 by gigabyte, and we also have a 500 gigabyte hard drive in there with the Windows 10 Home in it. So we're kind of letting it update with the hard drive right now. And we're going to go ahead and switch over and start running some games, see what we can do. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. And guess you're trying to stay strong and faith. We're going to go ahead and try this again. See this little thing right here. I was covering up with my big box. With my big head. Let's double check and make sure we're streaming right now we're on all right we're gonna run this one more time it's gonna be a quick one though just to kind of show you the numbers I'm not gonna get into a long spiel but I gotta say this is a pretty cool experience just messing around with this older um, rig it's an iPower pre-built or at least the case is an iPower case it might have not been their pre-built it has an MSI who 760 GMA dash I can't see it it's a P34 the FX model but when you go to look for drivers you have to make sure that A is in there because the A kind of does represent the pre-built where um, MSI did make a similar board the GM which is exactly the same except for it's not it is an aftermarket board so if you were going to get the same setup which I doubt you will it's a pretty old setup um, you want to be careful updating the drivers like the BIOS you want to make sure you get the right one so they do have auto detect programs they don't always work especially for older PCs um, but you could definitely give it a shot all the other drivers will update I mean Windows will update most of your other stuff but as if, if you're looking to do a BIOS update Make sure you get the GMA, uh, and MSI has two different sites too, the global and not global, we'll say. Artemis. So you gotta make sure you're on the right site as well, but if you were to put in the MSI uh, 760GMA-P34, you're probably not even going to be able to find the drivers, but you will find some forums on people talking about it. It is an OEM board, meaning it came with a pre-built. Again, I don't know if it came with the iPower. I would assume it did. It only had a one stick. I looked it up, and like this pre-built back in the day would have had one stick of RAM, which they still do. It's so crazy. You lose out on so much performance with single stick memory. And I know that, and I'll run single stick memory if that's all I have in a rig. I'm not like, oh, I'm not going to play because I only got a single stick. Nobody could say that, but dual channel meaning two sticks of RAM 
is gonna make your life a lot better. Even if it was two four gigabyte sticks compared to a one eight gigabyte stick. And that's a long story and people that know more than me, you can check them out or you can go on to YouTube. And they know way more than me about that stuff. Uh, but, so I'm just gonna run this, like maybe I'll run a match one more time just to truly test this out. I may use this video in a YouTube video later, so. So as you can see, we're rocking. It just says CPU, but it's a FX 4300. They call it a quad core. Um, AMD had a good way of doing that, where it's it's kind of it's just two cores. It's four logical cores. I mean, and they actually do use four. Where Intel says two core, four thread, and what they use is hyper threading technology. I'm probably saying this wrong, but they're similar, but they're different. Um, I don't want to say that Intel was worse off with their Celeron or their two core processors compared Let to AMD. Let the hunt begin. But AMD kind of gave you a more true quad core. So if you could update to a quad core these days, you should have at least a six core. But I mean, if you got to go four core, go four core. You could definitely do it in the six core to game. As you can see, I could probably game on a Celeron Smite. Um, and I believe it's running at, FX is the 4300. I think you can go to the 8350 or something like that. 8300. I wouldn't because you pay the cost of what I have to keep you up to sale. Unstoppable! And you can also, if you have a better graphics card, get a better graphics card. Same thing. You bought this and then you bought a graphics card and then you decided. The graphics card will transfer over. I would transfer the 740 over to a Ryzen. Yeah, I didn't realize that. Immortal! Triple kill! One last little video is kind of crazy that I don't know what 
I'm doing in this game. As you can see, but I wanted to show you kind of Stop talking so I play it. An enemy has been Taste the wicked blade. Taste the rainbow. Uh, it's like but it's not one of them. 144 hit combo. Yeah. I got the, the archer, but an enemy oh has my. been slain. It's like, only I could be running and level up. Probably because my people are running. unstoppable. Try and hit him. I didn't even see you guys. Like as if I had something to do with it. All right, I'm ending this video. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it for sure.